We're back with expert antiques appraiser Dr. Lori to look at a few more items sent in by you. Yeah, and we're going to start with a lovely bench sent in by Vidalia. So tell us about this bench. This is a rosewood bench. It has Asian motifs carved in the double back splats. So the place where your back hits the back of a chair or a settee or a sofa is called the back splat. Mm -hmm. And that's what those uh, vertical elements are. They have Asian motifs carved into them and they also have carved arms. So you can see the arms are curved and carved. Uh, you'll see, of course, the very traditional Asian legs and mm -hmm. feet. Uh, the piece, as I said, is rosewood. Uh, it dates to uh, the 20th century. It's really beautiful. It sure is. It is beautiful. Yep. Now, is this something that would have been made like just one of them or multiple? Yeah, multiples, any... multiples would have been made. Um, those hard bottom set tees are very, very typical in Asia. And sometimes that form is called a merchant's form because people would actually sit out on the streets in Asia on these types and other chairs like them, like this and they would actually do their business from this particular spot. How rare would it be to come across something like this in America today? Not rare to come across one of these type, but mm -hmm. this quality, I would say rather rare for this quality. So if we're gonna guess on this, we should guess big? Mm, yes, you're under $1,000, but guess big. There's your okay. hand. What, what is that, Dr. Lori? <laughs> That's help, and I'll I've take asked it. I've you questions like this before, and I'm told, mm, nice try. <laughs> she wants to help me out. I haven't seen David in a while. Oh, you thank you. All Dr. right, Lori. all right, I'll let it slide. Okay, Go ahead. you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, I, I listened to that advice. I went 850. I said 350. 750. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Dr. Lori. All right. <laughs> Not to make it a game. Come on. Favorite child here. All no. right. Uh, let's look at this picture that Suzanne sent in. We just, it says a landscape. Oh, landscape painting. You got it, honey. It's actually a color lithograph print. Mm, so okay. it's not a painting. It's not an original. It's a picture of an original. It's signed by an artist named A. Herb, and it's framed. It's early 20th century. What do we know about A. Herb? I mean, is that We someone... don't know much about A. Herb. We know that he is a lithographer as well as a painter, sort of like a, a, a middle of the, a middle level painter. Okay, so this person is making his money by painting an, a, a piece and then reproducing that image so he can basically continue to make money from the one work of art mm -hmm. kind of thing. I, it, it is framed. I did not get a, I did not get dimensions. They didn't send me dimensions. So okay. my expectation, if you're going to do a piece like this, you're usually at least 20 by 24 inches. But that's, that is a, a suggestion based on my experience. So. Now, uh, I, with lithographs, I think you've said this before, if it has a number on it, it'll tell you where in the print cycle. Did you get a number from exactly. them? There's no number on this, so this is called an open edition. That means they can keep printing them for as long as they want. They can print a lot of them, which will lower the value. All right. Mm. So there's your hint, Heather. I got it. Picking up, right. putting down. Mm -hmm. Don't forget the frame. Don't forget the frame. Oh, OK. <laughs> do, do, do. It's from another yeah. show. I know it is. $65. <laughs> I went higher. I went 120 150. Oh, guess who's tied it up? There we go. Yeah. Well, I gave you guys a lot of hints now. No, no, no hints on no this. No hints this time around. It. All right, last, no we're, we're ending with stained glass. It's a shade, a lampshade from Pearl. Okay, so it's an Art Deco style, emphasis on style, stained and plated glass light fixture. This is called slag glass, very popular in the 1970s. Uh, so this style is revived throughout much of the 1900s. And this piece came in, as you said, from Pearl. It's in very good condition. Uh, it looks like that the leading is nice and strong and holding in all those stained glass pieces very well. But slag glass tries to look like marble. So you'll notice the white part kind of looks right. like marble. That's called slag glass. Now, with something like this, without the base of the lamp, does it devalue what we're looking at? Or is it because you I, can buy a shade on its own, it's fine as is? I believe this is a hanging fixture. Oh, oh, okay. That's my understanding of it. So think a little bit bigger. It seems like it's a little bit bigger than your typical, there's no base, but that's an excellent question. Okay. That's smart. Yeah. All right, there's a lot riding on this. 
and I know our producer wants me to guess right away, but I'm having issues trying to come up with a number. Less talking, more writing. Okay. okay. <laughs> she said, no, no issues. <laughs> uh, I love having it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Go. You go. No, you go. I said $95. I went higher than that. I went $185. $250. Oh, yes. Go. Yes. Wow. wow. Your streak you know, is over. I know. I can tell. <laughs> oh, you're that Listen, this We're is, a little bit competitive. We love each other, though. This is why we're like siblings. <laughs> yes. I, I expect this from him, Dr. Lori, and nothing else. <laughs> I'd give it right back to him if I oh, won. I love it when you join us, Dr. <laughs> Lori. Well, I, ex I expect nothing but the best from you, and that's what we get every day on PTL. I love you both. Take oh, it easy. I love all you right. too, Dr. Right Lori. back at you. Thank you. <laughs> and thanks to all of you for sending us your photos. You can email yours to Dr. Lori at PTL at KDKA.com, and maybe yours will be chosen for a future episode with Dr. Lori.